Hi, I'm Lou, and we have another episode of My Car Story. I'm here at the Claremont Collection with Andrew Vogel. Andrew, what's your job here? Uh, I'm the VP of Marketing, actually, for the museum. Although we are a private museum, yes. uh, we are open for special events for corporations and charities and things, so, uh, yeah. so that's what I do here. Uh, it's an amazing facility, about 100,000 square feet and over 300 automobiles on display, wow. uh, spanning about 100 years. So it's, it's a big deal, very diverse, yeah. eclectic collection, shall we say. So we're going to show you some of the cars one by one so you can page through those instead of seeing something that you can't get a good feel for. And we're going to take this project over this, the winter and we'll have a good time with it. And so will you. So keep tuning in to My Car Story and you'll enjoy it. Andrew, let's take a look at this. What are we looking at today? All right, today it's going to be a 1958 Edsel. <laughs> uh, and, and when was the last time you saw an Edsel of any kind? But here's a Citation convertible, a uh, really, really rare car. Yeah. And, and then especially rare in this case because it's in phenomenal condition. Um, I would, it's probably a 90, 94 point car. It's, it's a big deal uh, restoration that was done a number of years ago, but it's, up, it's, it's been uh, holding up very well and it, the car is amazing. So here we go. Just before we jump into the car, one of the whole things of the Edsel was considered like a failure because they said the front end of it Looked like someone was sucking, sucking on a lemon. Oh, so uh, that killed the car, and if they say it's an Edsel, that was actually like a bad thing at the time. Right. But you'll see this one's a beauty. I'll grab the cameras I usually do. Excellent. Let's take a look. And the reason why you don't see them, let alone in this condition, is there just aren't many like this. Well, they didn't sell many to begin with, did they? No. And then, uh, and then the whole appearance and sort of bad rap that the car got, really didn't make it a prime candidate for preservation or restoration, so a lot just went away over time. So to see one now um, is historically significant, uh, but for posterior sa poster posterity's sake, yeah, sure. uh, it's a terrific uh, example and nice to have one here on display. And, and the fact that uh, this was actually a big deal, the Edsel. Ford put a lot of time into this car to make it look, uh, and this Edsel was actually one of the, one of the Ford's sons, so so it was exactly. uh, uh, built to be something that would would last, and built to be something that was uh, memorable and honorable to the family. Well, as you can imagine, anytime you're building something uh, that is your namesake, you you want to make it the best it can be. Um, and I don't think anyone really knocked the, the technical aspects or the engineering of the car. That was never the issue. It's just the styling cues were not uh, as popular as the uh, folks in the Ford Motor Company thought they would be. Exactly. And the 58, they, they had a few different versions of this one. You could see the, the interesting tail on it as well. I just want to feature some of the, you know, here you have the word Edsel in this inlay. This beautiful green, it almost looks like a marker light here that you can see there. And uh, very smooth, kind of flat styling. Right, so, so that's one point I think we should mention. Folks can, can do a little, a little research on this if you're so inclined. But, you know, in 1958, if you think about what GM was doing and other Ford products, Chrysler products, what they were all doing were vertical fins. Um, they didn't have a flat rear deck. They didn't right. have all this. They had much more going on. And then that still sort of bucked that, that trend as well. So it didn't have the most appealing front end. And then they went 180 degrees different on the back end from everybody else, and it just didn't fly, no pun intended. Yeah, and you could see the, the beautiful styling in here. You could see another word Edsel right there. So they were proud of this car, and it just, you've got the ease inside and the, the, the backup lights. Yeah. Backup lights, and it was a long car. It's a wide car. You can see this one's beautiful with the black and the yellow. Let's take a look at the interior. We've got it where it's set up for a drive-in. They put those there, and they've got people in the car, and they this watch the movie here one at of the, the Claremont. One displays we have here in the museum that, that, that take us to a bit of Americana, a little bit of history beyond the automobile. And so here we are at a drive-in movie theater with uh, nine cars or so in this uh, drive-in movie theater. And look at this is a push button steering wheel to uh, get the car moving. I just want to show you some of the details here in the dash as we go through. Another E there in the center. Yeah, don't mind the driver, he's okay just a little <laughs> 
that's actually got on the far side there what, what model you're in and there's a big that radio looks great with the knobs on it and the details there on all that and you can see so unusual, right? I mean, look at the, look at the speedometer. Um, it's another another variation on theme, but uh, another experiment. They're just trying something to be different. I think the Batmobile took that idea, that speedometer. <laughs> right. And you can see here the different pieces and these kind of flap buttons, and they go accordingly. I'll give you the, the details here of that right there. Just so much involved in this car. Look at the, the down below here. You can see the, the pedals, let alone they've got these. We can open that door a little if you like. Yeah, let's do that. We don't want to smash into the pole, but no, it might be a little easier to just get. We got top, hood, hood. A lot going on there. A lot going on there. And obviously a large enough back seat for two. Let's uh, let's pop the hood. Let's take a look under the hood. Okay. I think it's inside. Oh, it is inside. I'm sorry. It's all right. I completely forgot. There's so many cars and they're all a little different. Yeah. And the you know, in the day, that was kind of unusual too. To have gone to the interior hood release in 1958. I'll have you pull that up, and there's, there's one more extra latch right here. You'll see it when we pull up, which pushes there, and then it comes up. And that's even like a unique feature on how they have the hood held there. But look at the size of this. Obviously, a 475 and the big E for the Edsel there. It just looks spectacular. Everything done just the way it should be. I'm noticing the air vent goes must go into the front here. So coming through potentially the radiator. You know, I want to get that way that hood kind of pops up there like that. Looks great. You know, yeah. It almost looks better up than it does down. <laughs> in a way. It really does. And the, the Ford blower. And that looks great. Let's get, uh, let's shut the hood. I want to get one more shot of the front mm -hmm. of that sucking on the lemon. Look at that. There she is. Just like that. Let me step one step back. Andrew, jump in the picture there, would you please? Sure. So here we are. Andrew, thanks so much for being on My Car Story. Great car. It's a pleasure, Lou. Thanks very much for stopping by.